Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is channeled messages from your future spouse. Let's uh, get an idea of what your future spouse is thinking and feeling. All right, um, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? Here we go. All right, pile one, we have the yellow flower. Pile two, we have the brown flower. And pile three, we have the tan flower. Kind of rem reminds me of vanilla and chocolate and I don't know what this is, chocolate chip maybe. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna just do yellow, brown, and tan. All right, so take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to and uh, I'm gonna get your messages. Okay, pile one, are we ready for the, for your messages? Let's see. Nine of swords, six of cups, the emperor, eight of wands, six of swords. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I remember you. I remember when we were young and I just adored you. I adored you then, I adore you now. I, I always knew I wanted to marry you. I always knew that you were the one. Sometimes life gets in the way. And we have to explore different paths until we're ready to be together. I'm worried. I'm worried that you're going to reject me, that you don't want me the way that I want you. Normally, I am strong and confident, the ruler of my kingdom, not when it comes to you. When it comes to you, I am just mush inside. I am just a scared child. I I want this. I want I want to I want to build a life with you. I want this so badly and I am so afraid that you don't want this. I have all these memories of us when we were younger, you know, of, of catching your eye or stealing glances at you. I've always been attracted to you. I think it was love at first sight in a way. I can't remember a time I was not crushing on you. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm I'm ready to stop worrying. I am worried ready to let the anxiety go. I I'm ready to move forward with you and I'm praying that you're ready to move forward with me. I want this more than I could possibly ever tell you. You are my person. You're my best friend. At least that's what I want. I want that relationship with you. I want a closeness that I've never had with anyone else. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wow. All right, let's get some cards, okay? Let's see what else. Okay.
I finally realized that you are my purpose, that you are the answer to my prayers, but there's still some things I have to work out. I've been doing some soul searching here and I've trying to figure out what's going to make me happy. And I'm close. I'm really close. I'm close to achieving this goal. I'm close to being ready to reach out to you. I am moving forward. I am taking steps that I need towards you. You'll never have to worry about anything. Like I said, I'm the emperor. I don't worry about money. I know how to make it. It comes, it goes. You'll be fine. I will take care of you. I promise you I will give you everything that you've always wanted and needed. I will take care of your needs. You, ne you will never go without. That is my promise to you. Now, I'm not sure if this person is long distance from you or not. I'm feeling a distance here. I'm feeling like they're traveling towards you, but they're not here yet. So I, I don't know what that means, but take that for how, if it resonates with you, that they, they might not be close by. They might have to either travel, t travel, you might have to travel or they might have to travel to you or they have some things they have to finish up that they're not quite done finishing things up yet. They have to tie up some loose ends before they can get to you, but they're close. They're definitely close. Now, you know, I say they're close, but that's, you know there's no such thing as time other than the hu in the human realm, right? So, <laughs> our close and spirits close doesn't always mean the same thing. So, again, take that for what it's worth. But uh, they're definitely in your energy. That is for sure. And they definitely, they want to be your best friend. Like, they want that closeness. They want that bond. All right, let me get more cards and see if I can get some more out of them. It's, it's so hard because, you know, I'm reading for more than one person, right? So I got a bunch of higher selves here, <laughs> like trying to communicate here, and I'm trying to get it all out. Um, I don't want to miss anything and some of it might not resonate with all of you it, you know take what resonates for you because like I said there's a bunch of higher selves here I am so warm too like they are like the energy is flowing through me so they are like warming me up like I'm not having like a hot flash or anything like that but I'm I feel warm all right <laughs> You don't need to know all that. Let's get some more cards. Okay. Your person's confident. I, I, I Confident, I like. I, I do like this person's confidence. Um, what they're saying is that they are the magician. They know how to make the magic happen. They know how to make things work. Um, they could they can make your dreams come true. They know how to make money. They know how to uh, make you happy. They're feeling very confident in this relationship that this is going to work out and this is going to work out beautifully. They. I don't know how to describe this, but I really like this person. I do. I really like this person because. They want to give you the world. They, they want to give you everything. And they have the confidence that they think that they can do it. You know, they think that they have the ability to do it. Like, they're, they don't doubt themselves at all. And it, they're not cocky in any way. They're not. They're just very 
confident. And it's like, like this, this nine of swords throws me off a little bit because they're not really a worrier. They really, I mean, they don't feel like they worry too much. They feel very confident in their abilities. I just think that they're terrified of you. They're terrified that this won't work out because they, they really want this. Now, I'm talking to higher, higher selves here. So the higher self already knows that it's going to work out. This is your future spouse, right? So like, it's so weird. It's a fine line that I'm treading here with, with uh, like uh, messages to give you because the higher self already knows that this is going to work out. But I got to, I got to express the messages from a human standpoint because that's where I'm coming from because I'm human so keep that in mind keep that in mind that this is your future spouse so you're going to this is going to work out <laughs> if this one's hard um this one's a hard one for me to do it really is um because I'm conflicted because I you know I have one foot here in the human world and I have the other foot in the spiritual world so like I am caught between two and I've got to try and get my messages out to other humans but from a spiritual standpoint it, it's just it's complicated it is it's complicated and I'm probably making it I'm a Virgo I'm probably making it way more complicated than it has to be but anyway <laughs> Your person's great. Your person's great. All right. So they are, they're, they're just, they're ready to enjoy the rest of their life with you. They want to bring you so much pleasure. Now, I don't want to get, you know, over 18 here, but, um, they're going to desire you and they are going to look out for your pleasure. 100%. Your person's a giver, but in a very confident way, if that makes sense. I don't know how to put this. Like they're willing to give, but they're, they're not a mush ball. They're not a mush ball. Your person's going to be very loyal to you. You're not going to have to worry about them cheating or straying or they're going to be extremely loyal to you. What else you want to tell me? I, all right. So obviously this is a person that you've known for a while. You might not have had a relationship with this person, but this person has had you they have thought about you throughout the years or over the years. They they think about you and they visualize what it would be like to be with you. And that's how we manifest things, right? We visualize things. So your person really is a magician. They really are. They know how to play the game and they know how to visualize the things that they want and I think that's why they're successful in business because they can visual they visualize things and they've been dreaming about you and visual and like fantasizing and actually like I want to say like daydreaming but controlling their dreams like visualizing you in their life what it be like what would it be like what would you guys do how would, where where are you gonna go and they have little scenarios playing out in their head, like little tiny film strips. You cooking dinner together, um, cleaning up together, like crazy X-rated fantasies here. They, I mean, everything, everything. They, they visualize everything. And of course, they're going to marry you. Well, hello. We knew that, right? I remember you. They haven't forgotten you. That's what it should say. I've never forgotten you. 
not I remember you. I've never forgotten you. So, I really feel like this is somebody you know. And it doesn't have to be somebody you, you have a relationship with. Like, it could be just somebody you went to, to school with and they had a crush on you and maybe you never knew it. And maybe you never even noticed them or maybe you never gave them the time of day and that's why they have all this anxiety over it. But they are taking the steps to get to you. Whatever that is, they have some loose ends that they have to tie up. But they're coming towards you and they really, really want this. This is going to be very exciting, especially in the beginning. This is going to sweep you off your feet. You're going to be very, very happy with this person. All right. Um, I'm going to end it there, I think. I think that's enough for now. It's a lot. So give the video a like for me. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that will help me so very much and make me so very grateful. And until next time, love and light. Okay, pile two, if you chose the brown flower or the chocolate flower, this one's going to be for you. Just a warning, um, my kids should be coming home from work soon, so if you hear that noise, um, bear with me, okay? I'll try not to, try to get it done before they get home. But anyway, all right. I, I, keep in mind that I am channeling for more than one person here, so I have a bunch of higher selves here that are trying to give messages. So only take what resonates with you because I'm trying to get messages out for everybody who's watching. Okay. So just keep that in mind. This is, this is a tough one for me. I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy it, but, um, I just want you guys to know that. Okay. All right, here we go. Nine of cups, the hermit, Five of Cups, the Chariot, and the Star. All right, so here we go. I'm grieving. I'm grieving right now. At the time that we are in communication, the time we first meet up, I'm grieving. I've kind of pulled back my energy from the world and have gone into hermit mode because I'm really doing some soul searching. I am looking for answers. I really need something to hold on to, to find my way. I really, really need my path to be illuminated right now because I am scared and I am confused. And then I meet you. And you are a wish come true. You are my light. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go right towards the light. You are going to be my shining star, my savior in a sense. My happiness, my love. I'm going to rush towards you because I need you. I'm going to need you when we meet. And you are going to be so wonderful for me. You are just going to be compassionate and empathetic and you're going to listen and you're going to allow me to cry and you're going to, you're going to have my ear or I'm going to have your ear. You're going to be my everything. I really think that we're going to start off as friends and it's going to develop because I'm going to understand that I can really count on you, that you are so dependable and you are a star. You are shining. You are, you're the light in the darkness for me. Okay, 
So yes, when we meet, I am going to uh, be grieving a loss. And you are going to make me understand that the most difficult part is over. That all I have to look forward to is that rainbow and the pot of gold at the end. That there is reasons for me to keep going and to um, not only survive, but flourish and thrive. You are going to give me that spark, that motivation, that will to um, know that things are going to get better. And you're going to open that door to romance. We're going to start off as friends. I can see that you're, I'm going to, I'm going to need somebody to talk to and you're going to be there for me. And, but then you're going to open that door and I'm going to walk through it. I'm going to walk through it because you make me feel better. You just make me feel good. You make me feel good about myself. You make me believe that I have a real future. You build me up. You build me up and you give me that. You, you'll give me my self-esteem back. I won't feel so lost and so alone anymore. You really become my person. You just become my rock, my anchor. You crowned me. Yeah, we're going to start off as friends. We're definitely going to start off as friends, um, but it's going to develop into something more. You will slowly open that door and I'm going to walk right through it. Maybe even before I even realize it, it's just going to happen. And then I'm going to fall head over heels for you. But you're going to know right away. You're going to know that I'm, I'm the one. For you. For me, I'm going to take a minute to get there, but I'll get there. Yeah. You are going to propel me into so much success. Personal success. Personal victories you are just going to give me that push that nudge that i need that support that encouragement you are you're going to be really wonderful with me and i can't tell you the gratitude i'm going to have for you after the fact <laughs> but i will have gratitude for you I told you they were coming home, so I put you on pause real quick. But anyway, there once there's going to be such a strong magnetism between us. We're going to be so drawn to each other and so attracted to each other, um, mainly because you're going to be so helpful to me. And but like that chemistry is going to be there. Like you're very attractive. And I feel like I'm attracted to you. I'm attractive to you. Am I saying that right? Um, anyway, we have chemistry. We have chemistry. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a beautiful life together. It's just going to work. It's just going to work because I feel like I really needed somebody to depend on and you proved to me that you could be that person. I still have so much to accomplish before I can be what you deserve. So yeah, that's how I'm going to feel when we first meet. 
I'm going to feel low. I'm going to be at a low point. I, I, I suffered a tremendous loss. And I'm going to feel like that, like I have so far to go before I could be who I would want to be for you, a true partner. But you're going to stick it out. You're going to have patience with me and you're going to help me so much. And it's going to happen so much faster than I ever thought. You're going to open that door to romance and I'm just going to walk right in. And it's, it's going to feel natural and it's going to feel amazing because I don't feel worthy of you. I am going to be so grateful for you. Wow. All right, pile two. I, I think that's where I'm going to end it. I don't think I'm going to get any more cards. Um, so your person's going to be going through a difficult time, but you're going to help them through it. And you're going to be their rock and their shining star and their light at the end of the tunnel. And that's amazing. Um, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to get their self-esteem back because of you. You know what I mean? You're going to build them up. And they're going to feel confident as you are. They're going to start believing in themselves again. And wow, what an amazing thing to do for somebody. Right? And there's obviously, you guys are obviously going to be attracted to each other. So there is going to be romance here. Lots of chemistry. And, uh, yeah, I feel like once your person gets back to their true self, um, you guys are going to build something truly amazing. So I I'm happy for you. I am. All right. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that will help me and make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light. Hi, pile three. If you chose this... Uh, I called it the tan flower, this patterned flower. Um, then this is going to be your reading. Just a reminder, I am channeling higher selves that are, um, you know, there's a lot of them. You know, I'm not reading just for one person. So make sure you take the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest behind because it could be for somebody else. Um, the stories are, have been pretty clear and pretty accurate um so far so hopefully everything resonates and it's it's going to be an amazing fit for you all right so here we go the magician seven of cups queen of wands three of cups knight of wands <laughs> Well, I have been manifesting you. I've been wanting you for so long. People have come in and I've had options and other opportunities and no one has been right. They have not been what I've wanted. They have not. There's always been something that's just not perfect. And, uh, oh my goodness. I, I just can't believe how perfect you are for me. You're everything I've always wanted. You are extremely attractive and just amazing. I adore you. I adore you. And what I love about you is that you adore me. You let me fulfill my own dreams. You let me, you're happy to see me happy. You're happy to see me succeed. You're happy to allow me to follow my dreams and support me in ways that um, others haven't been able to. You celebrate me. And I just love that. I love that you celebrate me. I love that you will, are willing to celebrate my accomplishments. And, um, you know, that you're just willing to love life with me. You're ready to enjoy life with me. You're ready to 
just uh, be happy and have fun. Now, I am a bit of a romantic. I love romance, and you indulge that for me. You sweep me off my feet. And I sweep me off yours. We are um, very passionate for each other. Very passionate for each other. Like I said, we are extremely attracted to each other. And we show that. We're very touchy-feely. I'm always touching you. I think that's our love language. Touch. I'm always touching you. You're always grabbing my hand. I always want you. And it's reciprocated. You always want me back. I've, I've looked for you for a long time. I've searched for you. I've hoped, I've prayed, I've tried to manifest you. And now all my hopes and dreams are coming true with you. Because not only are you my perfect person, but you allow me to be me. You allow me to, like I said, make my dreams come true. I can overcome anything with you by my side. There's nothing we can't overcome together. We're going to reach new heights with this relationship. We're going to take, we're going to be that power couple, that, that, that couple that everybody is jealous of, that couple that everybody says, I want to be like them. I want the, I want to love like that. We're going to move into a new home together. We're just going to have a fresh start when we get together. And it's we're going to build our dreams. We're just going to build our dreams. And we're going to achieve those dreams. Together. Supporting each other. Encouraging each other. And just loving on each other. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> My mind went dirty on that card. <laughs> it's not what they meant, though. <laughs> they might have meant that. <laughs> but, um... No. What, what, what they're showing me is that your person has felt restricted by certain things in life. They felt limited. They felt tied up. They felt chained. You know, they, they, they've, and you're going to just unbind your person when you find them. You know, you're just going to release those ropes. You're just going to free your person. You're going to give your person the freedom to be who they are. And you're going to accept them for who they are. That's so important. Because I don't think that they've ever had that. Your person is telling me that they... Um, I, I don't want to say people look down on, at them, but... Like, it was like... Um, nobody believed in them the way that you're going to believe in them. Nobody had confidence in them the way that you are going to. And I think it's because you're not, you're just, you're not going to care what your person does. You're, and it's not that you don't care. It's just that you just want your person to be happy. 
You know, you want your future spouse to be happy. And so you're going to allow your future spouse to be who they are and to do the things that they love to do. And no, I don't think anyone's ever given that to them. I don't think they've ever had that kind of freedom that you're going to give them. So thank you for that because that's amazing. That, that just shows what an amazing person you are. Pile three. <laughs> um, for allowing that. All right, let's get some more messages from your person. Your person has gifts. Look at that. So your person could be a psychic or a healer or just an artist of some sort, just very talented. Your person is very talented in some way, shape or form. And that makes sense because you, you're going to allow your person to fulfill their own dreams. You're going to give them the freedom to do that. So, and they're going to share their gifts, not only with you, but with the world. I, I feel like it feels big. It feels like they're sharing their gifts with the world. You know, not just with others, but with the world. It feels big. And I feel like you're going to be very proud of your person. I, I feel like you're going to be proud. You might not... I don't know what I'm feeling. It's crazy. But um, you're going to be very proud of your person. <laughs> very proud. It's like, I, I want to say that they're going to be famous, but they're not not famous in a um, movie star way. I mean, maybe one or two, but I don't know what this is. But anyway, your person, your person wants you to know that you can trust them, that they will always be honest with you. They will always be loyal with you. Um, but not only do I get that from this card, but I also get that they're kind of a shark in their own right. Like, I feel like you're a shark for some reason, pile three. I feel like you guys are a shark. Uh, maybe in business or in life. Like, you guys know how to get ahead. I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. Um, but I feel like your person does too. But in a different way. So anyway... Your future spouse wants you to know that they, you can trust them. And I think you're going to know that. I think you're just going to, you're going to feel that right away. And as much as you support them and allow them to reach their dreams and goals, I feel like they're going to do the same for you just differently. Your person, your future spouse is going to be your friend, your guide, your mentor, your muse, your confidant. They're going to be your other half. They're just going to be your other half. You're going to really be able to count on them. They're going to be your best friend. Well, I got to put that on that card, right? <laughs> I just got to. There's going to be a lot of passion here between the two of you. Your person is so passionate for you. Your person thinks you are so sexy. Your person is very, uh, you, thinks you are so desirable. Yeah. <sighs> Lots of fun times coming up for you. No one lights me up and inspires me like you do. There you go. I told you your person wants you. They, you are their, I want to say you're their wish come true. They've had, they've had other opportunities. They've had other uh, um, offers. They've had other people come and, you know, try to date them. And um, no one's been right. They've been looking for you. So I'm so happy that this is your future spouse and you're going to meet them because, you know, this is your future spouse and it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for you. I love this. I want this for myself. <laughs> I do. I want this for myself. 
So if we could all be that lucky, right? I don't really believe in luck. We create our own luck, right? But anyway, you guys know. If I could manifest this, I would. Who knows? Maybe I am manifesting it. We'll see one day, right? But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it. Give the video a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because uh, that would help me so very much. And I'd be so grateful. I really would. Thank you so much. And until next time, love and light.